most of what you need to operate a satellite is already sitting in your pocket. So it's basically like a, a floating smartphone. We took that philosophy when we started Planet and built a satellite in a similar way, using a lot of commercial off-the-shelf components and adding some additional um, you know, special needs components that you need to operate in space because you're in a vacuum environment, it gets very hot, it gets very cold, there's higher radiation. The, the easy answer is that they're going fast enough to not fall. There's other effects like drag that start to come into play after lots and lots of orbits, but generally speaking, satellites stay in orbit because they're given a fast enough velocity by the rocket that put them there. We build small satellites, so we can either launch on, on a big rocket and take up a small amount of space and, and do it as a ride share with a bunch of other payloads, or we can go on a, on a dedicated small launch vehicle, but typically we're going up into space on these rockets. Our satellites are seeing the entire Earth every day. That's one category. There's also telecommunications. Space has a lot of kind of outward facing uh, scientific and exploration uh, elements to it, but there's also a lot of missions that are helping people here on, on the ground um, live uh, happier and more productive and, and safer lives.